You gotta remember things. When you do something right, remember what it was. And when you do something wrong, you got to remember not to do it wrong anymore. Can you say anything I'm doing wrong? Yeah, Marvin, you're passing. Now, you pass well, and you're accurate, right? But you telegraph every time, Marvin. We should call you Mr. Morse. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke, Marvin. Forget about it. What I'm trying to say is that your eyes told me where you were going every time. Your eyes. My eyes? Do you think that's why I didn't get recruited by no college? No, the rest of your game is solid. I wouldn't worry about it. Sometimes the best aren't always picked first. Really? Who wasn't picked first? Who? Cousy. How's that? Who? Bob Cousy. Bob Cousy? Who is Bob Cousy? Who is Bob Cousy? You guys don't know who Bob Cousy is? No. I never heard of him. Bob Cousy played college ball at Holy Cross. He was drafted by the Tri-City Blackhawks, right? Now, they're not too thrilled with him, so they trade him to the Chicago Stags team. Now, Chicago folds before the season starts. And Boston gets stuck with this Mr. Cousy. Now, they're not too thrilled with him either. He only plays 14 years for them, averages 18.4 a game, and is regarded as the best backcourt man to ever step on a basketball court, all right? My man, the incredible sponge man. All right, OK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cousy. Cousy. Yeah. Jan? Honey? Jenny Bidani? I am home. Darling? Hello? How you doing? How's every little thing? Everything's okay? Good. Mm. 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 All right, let me tell you what happened, okay? You said come home between 7 and 7.30, right? So 6.45, I left the court, I was on my way home, but... But what? But what? But what? But I happened to run into this guy I was in the army with, I haven't seen him for 10 years, Eddie, and mm, I... Bullshit. Eddie, bullshit, and I said, Eddie, how's your bullshit? And he said, fine, how's You know your... what that is over there, David? Accordion. Don't get cute. Do you know what that is over there? Phone. It's a phone, that's right. You take your little finger and you put it in the hole and you go around seven times and you call and you say you're going to be home late. It's very simple. You're right. Can we get back to kissing? Stop it. You're all sweaty and you smell of garlic. I only had one slice. Just when did one you slice. ever have one slice? I had, one slice? I had four slices and two cups. Why don't you go take a shower? Jan! Stop it. Jan. You're hurting me. I'm Come sorry. Out. Listen. 
You're mad and you got a right to be mad, okay? But let's discuss it like two uh, mature adults, all right? Mature. Guy spends half of his waking hours throwing a ball into a hoop and he talks about being mature. Oh, you put me down. It's amazing to me. You can remember who did what to who on a basketball court, but you can't remember to come home time for dinner. Let's look at the mail. Let's look at the mail. Uh oh, dentist. I think we have to pay this guy. He's starting to get surly. Mm, two thirds. So go to the dentist. Hey, I got an answer from this university I wrote. Big deal. Dear Mr. Green, I have studied your application with great interest. Cadwallader is in great need of a young and inventive basketball coach. My wife and I will be in New York City on the 12th. Please call us at the St. Moritz to set up an appointment. Yours truly, Alton Gutke, is president of Cadwallader University. I got an interview. Please, let me see that. What's the name of the school? Cadwallader. Cadwallader. Mm, obviously one of the top ten schools in the country. Hey, you know, I write a lot of letters, and I finally got an interview. You don't have to be so nasty. I'm sorry. I just don't want you to get hurt. I'm not going to get hurt. Let's go take a shower. You want to take a shower? Yeah. All right, come on, let's go take a shower. You know, Jan, I got a good feeling about this. I'm going to give you a good feeling. I'm going to wash a cat wallet for you. What's the spread on the Knicks tonight? Knicks. Uh, the Knicks are eight-point underdogs. I like the Sonics. I'll take the Knicks and eight for 20. Give you six. It's eight points in the paper. So bet with the paper, Henry. Uh... You're getting senile, you know that? Hey, Benny, 648 and 187 is 835, not 735. So where's the pickle? Yeah. That guy on table four with the bad suit. Says the chicken salad is no good. Which guy? They all got bad suits on table four. The little one. Hey, mister. Mister, you got to eat half a sandwich to find out it's no good? I thought it'd get better. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, too. I got to charge you for the sandwich. I wouldn't pay a penny. The chicken salad's terrible. What are you talking about? I just made it fresh this morning. I'll charge you for half a sandwich. Can I uh, help you, sir? Could you spare a piece of bread for a veteran? You wouldn't make a habit of coming in here, would you? No, you sir. You promised no, me. I, I don't want to it. see you in here anymore. No, sir. Let me have a knish for a veteran. Here, come here, come here. Here, take a nap. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank God you. bless you, God sir. God bless you, too. Happy Veterans Day. Listen, the guys and I are going to the track. I'll be back about 5 o'clock. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I told you I got an appointment, 4.30. Oh, yeah. I'll be back at 4. All right. You know, Davey, for my sake, I hope you don't get the job. Why, right, thank you, Henry. Listen, I gotta leave 405. What are you back or not? I'll be back at 404. Don't hock me. Don't hock me. <laughs> I have an appointment with Mr. Gutkiss. Can you tell me what room he's oh, in? Oh, the house phone, sir. He's expecting me. My name is David Green. Look, the house phone, sir. They'll take care of you. Mr. Alton Gutkiss, please. Mr. Gutkiss, hi. How are you? David Green. So, how do you like New... 2307? Okay, be right up. Alton Gutkus. Nice to meet you. How, how are you? Uh, Vodacup, he's here. Great, Come here. Daddy. Sit down. What are you drinking? Nothing. Uh, tomato juice. Tomato juice. Hmm. How did you uh, first happen to hear about Cadwallader? 
Well, uh, I grant you, Mr. Gutkus, a lot of people have probably never heard of Cadwallader, but I've always found the school kind of interesting, sort of uh, a gem in the wilderness. Yeah, a gem in the... Oh, Buttercup, Mr. Green's always thought of us as a gem in the woods. You look so pretty. Oh, thank you. Buttercup, I'd like you to meet Mr. David Green. David, my bride, Enid Cadwallader Gutkus. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Gutkus. Oh, that's Cadwallader Gutkus. Sure. And it's nice to meet you, too. Well, Buttercup... What do you think? Well, for a basketball coach, I thought there'd be a little bit more to him. <laughs> uh, what Enid means is she thought you'd be taller. Oh, uh, well, I jump high. <laughs> <laughs> I love a sense of humor. He's ethnic, ain't it? Enid never met an ethnic before, did you, Buttercup? Well, I'm just a little bitty gardener once. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> well. I guess you want to go do your shopping. We're going to talk business. OK. Well, it's nice to have met you. Nice to have met you, Mrs. Cadwallon of Gutkus. <laughs> Jim in the wilderness, huh? <laughs> Let's cut the bullshit. Nobody ever heard of Cadwallader. I never heard of Cadwallader until I met Enid. Sit down. But it's there. And I am the new president, and I do not intend to live my life in obscurity. I want to make Cadwallader a name. Some kind of ball team would do it. Football's too expensive. Basketball's only five men. That's where you come in. Thank you. Why would you pick me? Well, I liked your letter. You seem to know the game. You're a student of John Wooden's style. And most, most of all, I, I especially like the part where you, you said you'd work for nothing. I like that. Well, you didn't take me literally at that. You don't really expect me to work for nothing, do you? Well, I, I, I give you $50 for every game you win. $50? Cash. A game? When you win. How many games are you going to play this year? Well, we hope to have 30. Maybe well, wait, 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 Mr. Duck, you say if I win every game, I'm going to make $2,000. $50 a game. Come on. All right. Make it 60. 60. Look, I know it's a long shot, but I'll give you room and board, $60 for every game you win, and I'll give you a regular contract if you beat Nevada State. Nevada State? Come on, it's one of the top yeah. ten teams in the country. What are you talking about? Well, that's what makes it a long shot. I told you it was a long shot. But uh, the day you beat Nevada State, I'll give you a three-year contract at 30000 a year with fringes. You know, I think you're as crazy as I am. <laughs> but I like your style. This is guaranteed $30,000 a year for three years? I promise. I just got to be Nevada State? Yeah. Where do I get my players? Anywhere you can. What about scholarships? Well, uh, we'll give them room and board and a first-class education for any kid who wants to play with us. Some of the best players I know have a little problem uh, with academics. Not a Cadwallader. You get my meaning? You got yourself a deal, all right? Just to be fair, let's make it $100 a game, all right? 60. You got it. I got the job. Never thought that would happen. I was starting to believe it would never happen. When do you start? Yeah. Immediately. Jan, it's going to be terrific. They're going to give us our own furnished apartment, room and board. The food there is supposed to be terrific. And the money, uh, the money's not great the first year, only 2500 But all I got to do is beat this one team, Nevada State, and I make $30,000 a year for three years. I'm not going, David. What? I said, I'm not going. Why? How can we live on $2,500? Well, manage. Not for one year. We got money in the bank. You're not touching that money. That money's for the house. What do you mean, I'm not going to touch that money? I said, you're not going to touch that money. It's for the house. Look, that money is half mine, and I'm going to touch it whenever I want to touch it. I was afraid this was going to happen. I don't understand it. You have a good job. What do you want to blow it now for? Because now is when I have the opportunity. You have the opportunity to ruin a future. 